I'm Adele, an Education Advisor for Yorkshire Water. We're going to go on a tour of Headingley Water Treatment Works, but before we go, we all need to wear some protective equipment. We need to wear the hard hat, a visor or glasses, you need to wear gloves and a high visibility vest. I also need to wear safety boots. Follow me on the tour. Here we are at the flash mixer. This is the noisiest part of the treatment process. Here we're going to add a chemical. The name of that chemical is aluminium sulfate or alum. It's a coagulant. It helps to stick all the particles of sand and clay together to form the flock. To remember that word, think of a group of sheep. Behind me are the flash mixers. They're working all day, all night, every day of the year. We're now going to move on to the next process. Now at the flocculators. If we look carefully into this tank, we can see that all the particles are starting to join together. You can see that it looks quite brown in colour. Look, have a good look round here with all the different colours. There's going to be things like heat, there's going to be sand and clay, all sorts of different things in here. And we're going to then think about the next tank, which is also a flocculator. And it's getting larger and larger, the particles darker and darker and it's just been mixed up a slower mix this time to in in incorporate all the flock in this tank, so mixing it all up. This water treatment works is automated. The blue panels on the left hand side send information about the treatment processes to the computers in the control room. This room is behind the windows, high up on the right hand side. There's a good view from up on this platform. We can see that we have 10 dissolved air flotation tanks have a good look at these tanks. Here we're going to lift all of the flock up to the surface of this tank. And we're going to do that by adding water with small, small, small little air bubbles in it. As these air bubbles rise, they piggyback all the flock to the surface. As we look into this tank, you can see a series of brushes. And they're moving very, very slowly. Take a good look at that. The brushes are pushing all of that flock we're at the far end of the dissolved air flotation tank and this is where we're going to remove the sludge. If you look carefully, the sludge is being scraped off the top of the tank and it's dropping into a channel. And we go down the channel where there's some carrier water which takes it to the drain. The drain goes to the sewers and the sewers to the wastewater treatment works. Eight percent of the solids are removed at this stage. We've now got the rapid gravity sand filters and there's 90 centimetres of sand in here. Looking in here you can't actually see the sand but it's two metres down. And here we have a sand filter that's empty. Have a good look at it. Can you see the sand in there? Can you see the channel in the centre and the sand at the far side? And the water that comes into here flows by gravity through that sand. Any little bits of flock that you can see are floating on the top here will be removed on the sand. The water then trickles through the sand and goes on to the next stage. These filters will get dirty and once every 24 hours we need to clean the filters by something called backwashing. This process involves turning the inlet valve off allowing the water to drain down to just above the filter, then from underneath blowing air and water to dislodge any particles that are in the sand filter. The dirty water is then sent off to the drain. The tanks then get filled up again and go back into service. And that whole process takes about 30 minutes. The ozone tanks. Behind me is a large cylinder where we store oxygen. Oxygen is used to produce ozone. We put oxygen through a high voltage of electricity to produce ozone gas. This ozone gas is then bubbled up through the water and this helps to convert any of the chemicals into a more solid form that can be filtered out later and it kills all those little algal spores that then create a taste and odour in the water which we can take out later. The water from here then goes into the granular activated carbon tank. 
Here we remove any tastes and odours from the water as well as removing any of those chemicals, the pesticides and the herbicides. From there the water then moves on to the contact tank. Just before the contact tank we had a chemical called chlorine. We had one part of chlorine per million parts of water and this is enough to protect the water. The contact tank you can see in the distance is where the raised gravel on the top of the tank there. The water stays in there for about half an hour and then comes into this tank here which is called a service reservoir and this is a large box underground and then it's got soil and then grass on the top of that. The water stays in here and then it moves on to the customers.